Hello creatives, you're welcome to this video tutorial again. This is David Gladness and on this particular video, I am going to be discussing with you how you can um, insert images to your phone frame. So for some reasons now, I have not been able to post regularly on my YouTube channel and then um, some of the requests I got has been, how can you insert images into your phone frame? and also a request on how you can design a birthday flyer. I decided to set up a vote poll, but then as you can see right here, the vote on how to insert images into a phone frame is much more um, larger than those that requested for birthday flyer design. And this is basically what I am going to be showing you guys on this particular video tutorial. So without further ado, let's proceed with this video. Alright guys, so for the sake of time, I don't want this tutorial to be too much. So I'm going to be teaching you on how you can do this, making use of the Pixel Lab. Alright, I'm going to be showing you on how you can do this, making use of the Pixel Lab. Probably on the next tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how you can also do it with your Canva app. But then for this particular video, I will be showing you on how you can do it with your Pixel Lab. Okay, so first I'm going to open my Pixel Lab app. And as you can see, I have my Pixel Lab right here. Now, in case you don't know what I want to show you, this is it right here. Something like this. You can see this particular design. How this, Im um, how the image was being fit in into this phone frame to make it look as if it was actually inside the phone frame. You can see that right here, right? I think. Let me check if I have another one. Let me check. Let me check. Okay. You can see this particular simple design right here. So how all these charts are being screenshotted, like from WhatsApp, and it was being placed inside this particular image. Okay then um, let me see again yes this is another one right here you can see that how these images are being positioned inside the phone frame and it looks so much realistic so that is basically what i am going to be showing you on this particular video tutorial and i believe you're going to find this really helpful all right so the first thing you're going to need is the phone frame image you want to use so for this tutorial not be to be too long i'm going to be importing the resources i need all right guys so as you can see i have been able to import different type of resources right here and basically what I'll be showing you is how you can make use of um, the same function I showed you earlier in this, like the simplest way you can actually replicate that. All right. So I'll be showing you different methods because the method you are going to use for a um, straight phones like this are different from the method you are going to use for a slanted phone like this one you're seeing right here. So you have to understand that the methods are always different. Okay. You have to understand that the methods, is, um, the methods are always different. So I'm just going to show you in brief on how you can achieve the goal. Okay. Now, the first thing I would like you to do, if you want to do this with the Pixel app. So the first thing I, um, you need to do is to take a screenshot of whatever it is you want to make appear on your interface. Let's just say I'm here. So let's just assume what I actually want to, what I actually want to post, um, I want to add to the screenshot is this particular, um, this particular chart right here. All I need to do now is to take a screenshot of this chart. Okay. Take a screenshot. Now, once you are done with the screenshot, go back to your design software. Okay. Now, let me show you how you can do this with this, um, the straight phone. You can see this phone is standing straight. All you need to do is to click on import the first method. Okay. I'm going to be showing you the simple methods I love to use. Okay. Click on import, go to your recent, select the image you screenshotted. And once you're done with that, try to position this inside, inside the particular phone frame. All right. So I'm going to try to position it inside the phone frame. And as you can see, now you can see that this particular phone frame is transparent. I can easily move it to back. I can easily move it to back. And then I can go to my position key. I can decide to go to my position key and try to position it perfectly inside. There is another method though. There is another method to do this. All right. And as you can see, this is looking realistic already. This is looking as if um, the image was actually like I took a screenshot. Okay. So this is first method. But then I do not like to use this method in several cases because in some cases, the, the screenshot is not going to fit in 
with your um with the frame you are using okay the image can likely uh, like it might likely not fit in to the image um the, the foam frame you are using so this is the second method which is actually the best method i prefer to use now as you can see you can see this particular foam frame right here if i should click on import then i click on the screenshot i can't make use of this image i can't make use of it by rotating even if i should rotate it, it it's likely not going to work the way i want it to be you can see that i'm finding it hard to position this inside even if i should move it to back it's still not going to look realistic so in this case what you're going to do what you're going to do you can either go to perspective as you can see this is the image then go to where you're going to see perspective let me look for it okay click on perspective now you can decide to move your um adjust your your screenshots to fit in with the phone frame i'm trying to show you the first method you can use all right to fit in with the phone frame so just try your best to adjust it this can take time i'm trying my best to to make the tutorial as short as possible all right so with the perspective you can see but then if we should zoom in if we should zoom in look at this angle of the the um the design let me lock the elements look at this particular angle you are seeing right here you can see that there is a a part of the screenshot showing the same thing to this little angle as well you can see there is a part of the screenshot still showing outside you can see this part there is a part of it still showing outside now this is where you can make use of your max tool or your eraser tool you can see it right here so you can make use of your max tool or your eraser tool to erase that particular um store by tapping on the screenshot so when you tap on the screenshot you can go to max if you want to make use of the max click on enable now you can click on this you can click on this particular thing move it to the top like just to crop out that small part just the edges okay now you can you you can um tap on this plus again to bring in another max then move it up again to crop out that small edges at the top you can see that and then tap on this mark icon and as you can see the, the edges are gone so this is the first method like this um this is another method of fixing the effects if you if you don't want to use the if you don't want to use the max tool let me go back to the max if you don't want to use the max tool you can make use of the eraser by going to eraser then from the eraser just erase the edges little edges okay just erase the edges and come to this place as well erase erase the edges as well then tap on mark you can see the edges are now gone you can decide to merge them together you can decide to merge them together and work with it but then i'm not going to be merging it i believe my point is clear now that is the first method of doing um inserting a image like a screenshot to your phone frame now another method is by using um the texture effect by using the texture effect so let's just assume I want to use the phone frame on this type of image you're seeing right here. Remember, I have took a screenshot, right? All I need to do now is to click on shapes. I'm going to bring in a square shape. Then once I bring in a square shape, since this particular image, um, the phone frame is originally white, I'm going to select a different color. All right, let me just select this red color. Now, I'm going to edit the, the shape to be big a little bit. Then the radius to give it a curve edges, you can see that. So you can see the phone itself the phone frame is having a curved edges so let me just leave this on 10 but i need to adjust it i'll do that then now all you need to do is to go to perspective again you know if you should try rotating this it's likely not going to fit in the way you want it to be and if it should fit in it is all good i think this particular one actually fits in perfectly yes this particular image fits in perfectly but then there will be some image like the um this slant um full frame i showed you the other time regardless if i should try um rotating it it is not going to work the way i want it to be so in this case i think this particular one is working and as you can see the image has fits in it has fit in to the phone frame now tap on the image then go to where you're going to see texture scroll and look for texture click on texture click on this particular um image frame like icon then select the screenshots you took then tap on this mark icon and as you can see now if you should look zoom in perfectly this is not properly aligned all right if you should zoom in if you should look at the, this part of the um this thing you can see that it's not properly aligned so you can decide to like tap on it go to that same texture then click on this enable 
you can see that just click on enable to fix that little issue click on enable and once you are done enabling now let's take a look at it you can see how realistic this is already looking you can see this one is looking much more better and now it's looking like the lady is actually holding a phone with that type of screenshot now look at this lady's hand right here to be more realistic these are the things you need to consider these are the little things you need to consider look at this hand you can see that it is not actually um like perfect it is not the way we want it to be so you can tap on the image because with this type of hand now it's showing as if the lady's hand is being blocked by the screenshot it is not that obvious though but then you can tap on the image go to your max or eraser I, will, I prefer to use the max tool i always prefer to use the max tool then enable and when you enable go to this position key and try to move the max okay let me tap on this so you can try as much as possible move out this you can decide to like adjust as well let me just adjust it sharply the goal is to to erase the parts where the lady's hand is covering all right now if you should look at the differences take a look at the differences you can see that now it is looking real as if the lady actually owed the phone you can see that the hand is looking like it's even covering the phone and it's looking much more realistic let me remove the max too let me remove the max effect that we just did now and take a look at it you can see that it's not looking real it is looking it is very obvious that the image is being positioned on it but then with the max to after erasing that particular um curve with the max too it was looking real it was looking much realistic like yes the lady is actually holding the phone so always consider that aspect i believe you have been able to learn something from this the same thing goes to another de depending on the type of resources you are using actually so let me delete this and make this visible all right so you can see this particular image if i should try using this type of image again let me remove the max if i should try using it to this type of image you can see it's likely not going to fit in properly it's likely not going to fit in even if i should move it to back it's not fitting in the way i want it to be so the best thing to do here let me just position it as the middle the best thing to do here is to make use of the perspective make use of the perspective to adjust your resources by tapping on perspective sorry go to perspective edit it just adjust adjust the angles all right please i'm trying to rush the video so that it will not be too long so you can take your time to work on it take your time to to adjust your own image and as you can see always enable the perspective okay enable it so that you can see what you are doing properly now you can see after making use of the perspective this one is looking much more realistic than just trying to rotate the image okay then i'll try as much as possible to return this and let's take a look at it just look at this this is looking much more realistic of course so the same method of you doing this is still the same method you are going to use for the type of flyers like this one i have showed you earlier thank you for sticking around with me to the end of this video tutorial i hope it was helpful and i believe you have learned something new so in the next tutorial i will probably be dropping a new tutorial for canva users on how you can do this same effect making use of the canva app if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please support me by hitting the subscribe button and like this video and also i would like to know what you think about the video if it was helpful in the comment section below thank you see you on the next tutorial